Okay, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Today's topic is how alcohol affects your waxes. So I'm redoing it uh, because I didn't have that great of a connection, so I'm gonna see if going downstairs in our normal way will be better. Hey Grace Jones, I saw you come in earlier. I had to restart it because my connection was not that great and I want to see if changing the location would be better and it's already seeming better because more people are coming in. So um, Grace Jones, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. If you're new to the show, let me know where you're coming from. Hey, The Bar uh, Nook Spa, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Hey, Mermaid Mammy, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Hey, Mrs. No Filter, hey. Good to see you, welcome back to the Thibu Waxing Show. Hey, uh, Prima Donna Wax Studio, welcome to the Thibu Waxing show, show. Grace Jones is from Philadelphia. You are the third person this week that's from Philadelphia who's new to the show, so welcome. Uh, you have a lot of people in the 3B waxing world that are from Philadelphia, so hopefully you'll connect with some people. Uh, that usually happens here on the show, so that's exciting. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Mermaid Mammy said, hey, hey, and uh, she is from Virginia, so welcome. Uh, we had another Virginia earlier this week, too, so... Welcome, good to see you, thank you for joining, and thank you for those who are coming back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm restarting the live. I was doing the live earlier upstairs, uh, but we were having a little bit of connect issues, and I was like, well, just stay true to what we usually do up in here. So if you are new, I'm gonna do the intro about what I do and how I help you, but um, if you're new, this is the 3B Waxing Show where I talk about waxing, skincare, um, esthetician business. Uh, the Bar Nook Spa said, hey, Philadelphia. So we got two Philadelphia. See, I told, I was just saying to Grace Jones that um, she was the third Philadelphia. So now, now there's four. Um, so you guys can connect, which I think is great. Uh, it has happened pretty often on the 3 Blue Action Show that people have connected um, and found out they're in the same state and, you know, made new connections and networked that way. Hey, Mariah. Uh, welcome back to the Thibu Waxing Show. Good to see you. Hey, KS Moore 12. Welcome back to the Thibu Waxing Show. Good to see you. How is everyone doing? Uh, we have good connection. Thank goodness. So today's topic is how alcohol affects your waxes. If you are just joining the Thibu Waxing Show and you're new to all of this, well, welcome. We're happy to have you here. Uh, the wax, the topic for this month and next month is all about waxing. So, um, okay, S. Moore said, hey, from North Carolina. We got North Carolina in the building. Yes, 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 welcome. And then uh, Mariah's waving, give a heart, yeah. Good to see you all. So yeah, we are talking about waxing. We've been talking about it consistently. You guys have some great questions. And what I've been doing with the questions is turning them into shows uh, to go in deeper into information. So uh, that's what's been going on. If you're new to the show, I'm definitely gonna intro uh, who I am and how I help you. Uh, I do have some announcements before we get started. Uh, so one thing that you may have noticed that once you start following the page, or if you've been with me, you know, um, are you talking about alcohol on the skin before waxing? Good question. I'm actually talking about uh, alcohol drinking, but I am going to talk a little bit about alcohol. I'm glad you brought that up. That is something that um, I will talk about too, because it does affect the skin, and there's a reason why I don't have it in the pads. Uh, so let me just write a note about that. That is so good that you brought that up. I'm talking about drinking alcohol, uh, but I'm going to talk a little bit about it, it on the skin, and that's going to be a great topic for another waxing show because uh, alcohol does affect 
it. And also, when I'm talking more about chemical peels, I talk about alcohol as well. So I'm glad you brought that up. Hey, Miss Five Diamonds, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. If you're new, uh, let me know where you're coming from. I said, oh, okay. Uh, I just wanted to care clarify, yeah, I'm glad you did. And, you know, it just added another topic that we'll talk about. But um, yeah, so the announcements. For those of you who are new to the page or you've been with me a while, you know, I'm known for the uh, exfoliating pads. Well, for the estheticians who want to wholesale, I'm going to do an order uh, May, not this week, not next week, probably the, the third week because I want to get everyone's order. So if you are wanting to wholesale the pads in your salon, get your orders in because we are about to do that. The other thing, the other announcement I wanted to say before we get started with the intro. Hey, uh, Crystal Ball, welcome to the Be Waxing Show. If you're new, uh, let, uh, <clears throat> let us know where you're coming from so we can greet you and then uh, you may be able to connect with some people in here if you're from the same area. But um, other announcement is since the whole shutdown, but like when the shutdown happened, a lot of estheticians reached out who were students and um, just were asking questions. Like I train estheticians and stuff. And um, it was based off of starting school. Now, a lot of them have been asking me about um, having their own salon. So for those of you who are estheticians wanting to go on your own, because you realize that, you know, being on your own is very profitable. Uh, click the link in the bio and go to the mini course and that will help you set up your salon. Uh, hey, the Libra. Hey, Tara. Welcome back to the Thibu Waxing Show. Good to see you. Um, she's 100 Chick. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Um, aesthetic Principles. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. And Crystal Ball is from Arizona. Hey! Uh, I'm from Arizona as well. I'm originally from Arizona. I'm in California now. But um, Arizona in the house. Uh, very nice to meet you. I'm glad you're here. Uh, the Libra said, hey. <clears throat> yeah, we have people everywhere from um, North Carolina, two from Philadelphia. We have someone from California as well. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot. I don't, I may have missed someone, but. Oh, Virginia. We have Virginia. Before I, uh, all over. A lot of East Coast. So that was the second announcement for my salon professionals. Uh, that's what you want to do. Aesthetic principles asked, are you doing any one-on-one -on -one classes? Yes. So, uh, one-on-ones, I'm still doing pick my brain calls, um, where I can help you with whatever you need help with. And then if you want to do in person, uh, wax, wax training, then, um, message me and we'll talk about it uh, but uh yeah i'm doing i've been doing pick my brain calls with uh professionals professional estheticians and helping them with whatever they need so if they need to start their own product line or um need help with tracking more clients or doing customer service or improving their wax technique we've been doing that um raya said i'm from california hey california another california uh, set of pencils. Yes, yes. So um, that will help you if you need it. So that is what I got. The announcement of the mini course and the announcement of the wholesale. So I'm going to get into the intro for those of you who are new. If you're wondering uh, who I am and what I do and how I can help you. Um, set of principles waxing. Yes, so I can do it uh, just to answer. I will answer aesthetic principles then I'll get into the intro. Uh, if you're not in California, then we can do it over Zoom. And I'll explain how to do it. It's just a pick my brain call, but over Zoom, a Zoom training, or you can do it in person. I've had people fly out if you're not in California, um, and we can do training that way. Atlanta. Okay, yeah. So if you want to fly out, you're welcome to do that. 
And then um, my June spot. So if somebody is looking for the June, June at the June spot. For those of you who are um, like, what's going on? I will get to the show. I just want to answer this question. Um, I do training, so that's what I'm talking about. I do wax trainings for other estheticians. And so if you are in another state, you can fly out. Uh, my June is open, even though someone's looking to book it. But they haven't done up a deposit. And I say once you do the deposit, that's for sure, for sure. So um, June is available. But if you do not want to fly out, we can always do it. Um, pick my brain calls and... We can do it over a course of time or we can do it in a we can just talk so um message me what you're looking for what you want to focus on and then we will talk more about what how i can help you all right so let's get into the intro and then into the subject so welcome to the theby waxing show welcome to the theby waxing show and so you remember welcome to the theby waxing show my name is becca I'm a pro waxer, skin therapist, and licensed esthetician since 2010. I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, and ingrowns through full body waxing. So that's full body waxing with hard wax. Uh, I talked about this earlier this week, the difference between hard wax and soft wax. I use hard wax because it's gentle on their skin and there's a lot of other benefits that I really like um, using it on my clients. Hey, um, Maisha Le Leani, welcome to the Dubu Action Show. I do apologize if I said uh, your name incorrectly. If you're new, let us know where you're coming from. Um, yeah, that's how I help my clients. And I do that through full body waxing, like I said, facials, chemical peels, and products. Uh, the product I'm known for is my exfoliating pads, the acne and ingrown pads, and the fruit enzyme pads which are chemical exfoliants. Hey, Silky, uh, Wendy, 1975. Welcome to the Debut Waxing Show. Um, good to see you. If you're new, let me know where you're coming from. And thank you for the love that you sent, shared on my page uh, or the love that you gave to my page earlier because I recognize the um, username. So welcome to the Debut Waxing Show. Uh, yeah, so chemical exfoliants. If... Uh, you're new here, and if you're not new, you hear me talk about chemical exfoliants a lot because they are great for sensitive skin. They're just good for your skin. If you struggle with ingrowns, you want to start looking at chemical exfoliants. Um, and that is why I'm on here later is because I went to the post office today to get pads out. And so that did take some time. I wanted to make sure I got out, um, got the pads out today. Let's see. I also help estheticians, like I was talking with Aesthetic Principles. I help them start their own product line. I helped a lot of estheticians start their own product line, um, start their own salon suite, attract clients, and improve their waxing technique. Uh, hey, from Baltimore, we got another East Coast. So um, welcome from Baltimore. Uh, I'm purchasing the pads for ingrowns. Uh, great, you will love them and thank you for your purchase. Uh, hey, Gone Global 2, welcome to the Thibu Wax. Oh, wait, I think I said welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show earlier. Thank you for coming back because you were on the original, the original live where it was all cutty, cut, cutting out. Made me think of this song. You need to cut it. Uh, that's what made me think of. But yeah, thank you for coming back. Welcome back to the Thibu Waxing Show. Uh, so yes, I do help estheticians. I have been the regional trainer for uh, EWC, and then I have been um, the lead esthetician and pro waxer at Equinox. So I would get paid for, or I was hired to teach staff and other estheticians. So I am a trainer, a true trainer. Um, Gone Global said, thanks, you are welcome. Uh, I go live Wednesday through Friday at 3.26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you may want to put on your notifications because I notice sometimes uh, Instagram doesn't always let you know when I'm going live. Hey, Janae, uh, skin, welcome to the Waxing Show. 
Gone Global 2 said just purchase past the day. Thank you for your purchase. And if you did, uh, I don't know, I think you came in after I was saying this, but uh, your pads went out today. So I was able to get all the pad orders that were done earlier this morning uh, out. Um, every, Actually, all of them out. So it's on its way. Um, if you want to know when I go live about waxing, so this month is all about waxing and then next month is all about waxing as well. I plan on sending you lots of information about waxing, uh, and ingrowns, like improving your ingrowns. Join the wax lounge. Click the link in the bio at 3 b Waxing. Uh, Instagram and then uh, you'll see the wax sounds. Um, Gone Global said okay great yes. If you want to know about skincare, uh, the pads, um, different ingredients because I do teach on different ingredients so that way you know what ingredients to look for in your skin and you know what ingredients are in the pads and what they're doing. Then you want to join the lab and then if you are a salon professional and you want to improve uh, your salon and you want to attract more clients or you want to start your own product line, you want to join the salon team. Who's that? Someone's at our, who's at our door. Um, beds. Ty Sugar, welcome to the Thubu Waxing Show. Hey, beautiful, full brown skin. Welcome to the Thubu Waxing Show. Uh, literally, I got off track because someone's at the door. So, Silky Wendy, uh, 1975, said I signed up for the newsletter. Also, how do you use the pads? So, good question. Uh, so, there's two pads. You could use them for your face and body. And you can use the so it depends on your skin uh, and what you have going on but I usually recommend doing three to four times a week and night um, and then you adjust to your skin type and what you're using so uh, you can use it on your face and body at night if you're using it on your face you want to wear sunscreen in the morning SPF 30 because anytime you exfoliate your skin you're having the new skin come through and you want to protect that new skin from the Sun because it is sensitive and it's uh, more vibrant and that kind of thing. And that's pretty much it. You can use it anywhere on your body uh, and your face. That is pretty much it. Um, it does have salicylic, glycolic, and lactic acid. So if you have a strong cleanser, uh, you... Hey, two day break, 6987. Welcome to the 3 Waxing Show. Silky Wendy said, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, Gone Global 2, I have ingrown hair under chin area. What do you recommend? Pads are great for it. Uh, using the pads regularly at night and then wearing sunscreen in the morning and then looking into getting waxed with hard wax. So that way you are removing that hair and you're thinning out the hair as well as getting that regular exfoliation. Uh, I'm able to really clean up my clients ingrowns on their chin when we do full face waxes and they use the pads consistently. So you're going to want to know, you're going to want to have to see, you're going to have to see uh, how often you need to use the pads depending on your skin type. And if you have a strong cleanser, like if you're using few of my clients who uh, work on face ingrowns or just um, exfoliation for the face, they also use the Skin Script Glycolic Cleanser. And if you are using that or anything that's strong like that, then you may not want to use it the same day you use the pads. So you may want to use a more gentle cleanser that day and then use your strong cleanser the other day. I know I'm kind of getting very technical. Um, it's because I start to get really technical about skin routines and um, building them, but uh, I hope that answers your question. Use the pads three to four times a week and then adjust. And then if you're using a stronger cleanser, 
use it um, the days that you don't use the pads. Hopefully that answers your question. Okay, so I think I did the intro. I think I finished the intro. Uh, so let's get into waxing and alcohol. But let me first recap. Um, some of you are like, what's next? Let me recap yesterday's. So yesterday the topic was how to make your, um, when your hair grows back, how to make it not itch. So wherever you wax or shave, how to make that not itch. Um, God and Global said, okay, thanks, you're welcome. So the first reason to, or the first way to help your hair not be itchy when it's growing back is to go from shaving to waxing. The next way is to use aloe after you get waxed. And then the other way is to exfoliate. Um, exfoliate regularly. So those are the three we talked about yesterday to help your hair and your skin not itch when you when it's growing back. Um, Silky Wendy said, yeah, thanks for explaining. You're welcome. Uh, welcome to the Be Waxing Show, Black Excellence. Welcome. All right. So, alcohol. Drinking alcohol for your waxes. How many of you have thought about, you know, I'm going to go get a wax. Let me just take some shots of tequila or take some shots before I go and get waxed. Hey, Ashley. Welcome to the DB Waxing Show. Good to see you. If you're new and you just came in, let me know where you're coming from so we can greet you properly. Um, hey, Karen. Simon1, welcome to the DB Waxing Show. Hey, Miss Sh um, Sharda. Welcome to the DB Waxing Show. So has anyone ever had that thought like, oh, even if you didn't act on it, you were like, I should just take like three or four shots of, of alcohol before I go get waxed and, you know, it'll be a better experience. I know uh, es different estheticians feel different about this topic, but it's something that comes up and it's come up. I've been waxing people for 11 years and it's come up multiple times and I was like, let's talk about it. So is it a good idea? Does it help? No one's really had that thought. Well, <laughs> Sylvie Wendy 1975 said a shot is always good. I like what you're thinking. Um, Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. I am Shaq. Uh, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Good to see you. So, what does it do? How does it affect your waxes? So, when I was in school, and I think it's taught in a lot of schools because when I talk to estheticians, they will talk about this, and it's kind of a known thing. But, um, or known thing when you're in esthetician school is that they tell people to avoid alcohol before getting waxed because they say it thins out the blood. And when you're ever thinning out the blood, even if you're taking like a lot of ibuprofen or blood thinners, like if you come in and you do a con get a consultation from me, I'll ask you, or there's a question are you on blood thinners and that's important to know because when we're when you're exfoliating and when i say exfoliating when you're waxing because it's exfoliating the top layer of the skin you are taking that layer of skin but if your blood is really thin it could bleed through you could like remove some skin and you know bleed a little bit now that's what we learn in school like okay don't drink before um i'll say the things that how it affects you and then i'll say my take on it okay so we'll talk about the things that it does and those kind of things 
So another thing that drinking a lot of alcohol does, and I'm talking about if you had a night of partying before you went into wax. So say you um, went out partying on Friday and you came into wax on Saturday, or you got waxed on Saturday and went out partying Saturday night and was drinking a lot, then you may experience uh extra irritation so redness um the skin feeling really sensitive i have seen that with clients they told me about it or when they come in uh from a night of partying they they get waxed and they're like extra sensitive and then they have like a breakout and that doesn't ever happen only when they had a night of drinking or drinking later hey vita ruby welcome to the 3b waxing show so my take because i've i've seen a lot and my take on it is that drinking a shot or two kind of like silky wendy was saying a shot is always good isn't going to really affect your waxing in a damaging way unless you are really sensitive to drinking alcohol, then you may wanna reconsider. But it actually does help relax you. Um, when you come in to get a wax from me, when I'm open and taking clients in the salon, I offer you a glass of wine. Uh, there are people I know that offer you a shot um, to help you relax and chill before getting waxed. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, Des Black. The biggest thing that I notice with how alcohol affects waxing is that if you drink heavily, then it will make you irritated, whether you drink the night before or you drink after. Hey, Miss Merrills, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. <clears throat> we are talking about ways alcohol affects the skin during waxing. Now, when I started this show today, I was, was just planning on talking about, you know, alcohol that you drink. But, um, who was it? Trying to see who brought it up. Asking, clarifying. Oh, I can't remember here. Someone brought up, you know, what about alcohol in the skin? So there are different types of alcohol. And maybe one day when we talk about ingredients, I'll go into all of the alcohols. To be honest, I don't really, I haven't really studied all the alcohols. Um, but there are a lot out there. And just because something has alcohol in it doesn't necessarily mean that it's drying. Um, there are a lot of alcohols that are moisturize, moisturizing. There's like um, cetyl alcohol, I believe that's how you say it. Um, but alcohol can be drying on the skin and there are a lot of ingrown products out there that have a high alcohol content where it does great if you have ingrowns that are like um, bumps and drying it out. So when it's drying, when you're putting it on the bump that's an ingrown, it helps dry it out, but it's also drying out the skin. So long-term, it's not that great. Hey, NFT universe, welcome to the 3 Waxing Show. So I purposely didn't want alcohol in my pads. Is that because I knew I wanted salicylic look and salicylic look is drying and I didn't want to do alcohol. Now there are benefits of alcohol where the ingredient alcohol will sometimes, and there's different kinds like donate alcohol and those kind of things. I won't go into that today, but there are some alcohols that will take products and help drive them into the pore better. Um, 
using alcohol on the skin before waxing hey facers by itosh good to see you welcome welcome to the th welcome back to the three waxing show using alcohol on the skin before waxing um it can be it can be a little drying um it is good because it's good for wiping like it's an antiseptic but i would use something else um face where toss it hi hi so um i don't use alcohol when on someone's skin when i'm about to before i'm about to wax them because i just think it's too drying uh, i'll actually use oil if their skin is dry and then i'll do um some baby powder bobby body powder on there uh and then wipe it off uh, i don't cleanse anymore the brazilian area i can go into why i don't do i don't cleanse yeah i don't usually use the antiseptic but we can go into that another time another time that i use alcohol on the skin is uh on the face when i'm doing certain pills because i want to take the acid mantle off um so hey miss ash welcome to the waxing show if you're new let me know where you're coming from uh so that's when i'll use it on the face certain pills i will like to take the acid mantle off of the skin and then uh apply the pill onto the skin I don't recommend putting alcohol straight on the face. Um, it's just not something to get in the habit of. It can be very drying. And you're taking the acid mantle off, so you're gonna need to put a lot of moisture back into the skin. The reason why I do it for peels is because you want that peel to work on the skin. Like you want it to get to the skin and you want everything to be kind of gone to the peels working. but. And that's only for some pills. Other times I'll use something else before I put the pill on. So that is how alcohol drinking affects your waxing. And then also I touched a little bit about how alcohol affects, um, alcohol on the skin affects your waxes. So any questions, any questions about what we talked about? I know you guys had a lot of good questions in the beginning about the pads and um, trains and stuff like that. So. Um, but if you have questions, definitely open it up and let me know. Um, I do have three things for you. So all this month we're talking about waxing and next month we'll be talking about waxing. If you are wanting to wax yourself at home and you're like, I don't know what I need. Uh, a few of you have been in my DM like, uh, oh, someone asked this question and I thought it's a good question to share. If you are new to, to waxing, you like are a shaver and you're like, oh, I want to get waxed. Uh, and you're like, oh, it would be really cool to wax myself, but I'm a little nervous. I would recommend go get waxed. Go somewhere where they use hard wax and go get waxed. See how the process is. See how you like waxing. Get, get it a few times. See how it feels. And then wax yourself at home so that is something I recommend uh, for those of you who are just new to everything with waxing uh but if you are like I'm ready to wax myself at home I just don't know where to start click the link in my bio I created a list for you of what you need it's the first button a list of everything you need sticks body powder the pot um there's like a the other stuff you need um, to help you and then if you are wanting to start with your underarms because I was talking yesterday how that's what I started with is waxing my underarms before ballet uh, 11 years ago actually it probably was like 12 years ago because it actually might have been 13 years ago because it was a I had been doing it a few years before I started esthetician school but uh, I started waxing my underarms because I didn't want that five o'clock shadow when I was in ballet. And so if you are, um, it's, 
It's Savvy Biz. Welcome, welcome to the Dubu Boxing Show. How often do you? Oh, Silky Wendy has a question. How often do you use the fruit enzyme pads for under the chin area? So I recommend the same three to four weeks or three to four times a week um, at night. And then usually with the fruit enzymes, people can up it more. So I say start out with three to four and then um, go to more because a few of my clients who are sensitive, sorry, this thing I have that checks your blood sugar easily. Um, it's Savvy Viz said hi, hey, because I do have some clients who use the fruit enzyme pads as toner pads. Um, so they're getting exfoliation and toner. They don't feel like it's too much for their skin. Uh, so I would say go start with three to four and then work your way up. Usually people with the fruit enzyme because um, these have salicylic in them, so they're a lot stronger. So most people can't use these every day, but these are strong because they're chemical exfoliants, but they are from organic fruit enzymes. That's what eats away at the dead skin cells. So most people can use it more often. Um, some clients swear by these as their toner pads and they're like, it's exfoliating, but it's what I, what they replace with their toner. So when you said thank you, you are welcome. Uh, I use the pads from EWC. How do they compare? Are they good to use? Uh, so I, you know, you were here for my intro. I was a regional trainer. Uh, I was glad that they came out with pads. It was actually what inspired me to come out with mine. They do not have lactic acid in theirs, unless they've changed it since I've been, been working there. But, um, Theirs have salicylic, theirs have glycolic, but it doesn't have lactic. And and theirs have alcohol. So when I was working there, I was in the process of like, this is what I want to create for my clients is a pad that has salicylic, glycolic, lactic acid with no alcohol. And um, the, the reason I wanted lactic acid is because I saw a lot of clients who would get ingrowns, they would get dark spots afterwards like you know you you have trauma from an acne mark or acne that does cause a dark spot and you need to work on fading it so lactic acid exfoliates as well but it also is moisturizing uh, so and it also helps with hyperpigmentation so that's why I wanted lactic acid the other reason I think you were you were in here when I was talking about I didn't want alcohol um, because I believe their alcohol is innate and innate and I think this is right that it helps drive other products in but I just didn't want alcohol in there to do that because I have the salicylic um, two percent in mind are they good to use yes they are so um, how they compare is that. I just have the lactic in mine and no alcohol. And then I also have, um, you weren't following me last month, but last month I talked about different ingredients in the pads and we spent like a week on each, on the first few ingredients we spent a week on and then we spent a day on each ingredient. Uh, my pads have moisturizing properties in them, so not only is it exfoliating, but it's also moisturizing your skin. Uh, so that's why people's skin aren't really dry when they're using such a strong product with salicylic acid and all these acids, mandelic. Uh, mine's have mandelic in them as well. But um, they're using the pads that are so strong, but they're not getting dried out because of all the carbamide, uh, which is a natural moisturizing ingredient and a bunch of other things that are moisturizing so hopefully that helps you um hey ray michelle uh 69 welcome to the three boxing show if you're new to the show let me know where you're coming from uh silky wendy said thanks for explaining smiley face i'm trying to start a good skin routine that is good i am so glad that you are working on your skin routine 
Uh, I do have the perfect skincare guide. If you click the link in the bio, you can grab it. Uh, it goes into how to figure out your skin type, uh, different ways to identify it, and then products that are good for skin type. So like for dry skin, creamy cleansers are good. I use that example all the time, um, but it goes into different products that are good for different skin types. So that will help you on your journey because with your skincare journey, you wanna know your skin type and then you wanna know what products are good for your skin type and then you wanna start building your routine based off of your skin type and what your skin actually uh, responds well to. So then once you start doing that, you can um, do some adjusting. And then if you ever need help, you can always do a skin consultation call with me and I'll help you wherever you are in your journey. Uh, hey, Crystal Ball um said thanks i don't know why i was like oh hey like we have been just talking <laughs> um thanks you're welcome and then i'm uh, very helpful i'm glad so good questions you guys uh i usually just go live wednesday through friday i may go live tomorrow i'm not really sure as a bonus uh it's wash day tomorrow to be honest with you it's hair wash day and so i don't know hey fro bellas welcome to the three boxing show if I will feel like be going on live. That's just the truth. But um, thank you guys for joining. I hope this was helpful and I really hope that you guys are working on your skin routine, which I know you guys are. Uh, if you're here, you're obviously taking your skin seriously and um, improving your skin and then also improving your waxes. So you're getting better waxing and getting better results because the goal is it's the model that I created this whole business off of is that uh, making sexy, beautiful, and confident your reality. So that's the whole goal. So that way, uh, if you're feeling confident, you do better in all areas of your life. Um, I usually say, if you have a Brazilian, you usually got some pep in your step. Uh, when I'm talking to clients, hey, uh, Jones in 2016, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Hey, Smiley Girl 21, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. And I didn't say the third thing. Uh, for those of you who just joined, I'm about to get off, but we are talking about waxing and I will leave this up. The third thing uh, that I've been doing is uh, wax with me calls to help people uh, with waxing at home. And it has been going excellent. It's been really fun, honestly, uh, helping people wax. And then it's just fun talking with people and like, uh, yeah, because I haven't opened up the salon in person yet. Um, I'm in the search for a place. I'm, I just want to do things differently this time around. And so I'm taking my time. But uh, in the meantime, doing calls with you guys uh, where we're face to face on FaceTime or Zoom is so fun. And it's fun helping you guys. It's just fun. But yeah. Uh, so good ones. Thank you. See you tomorrow on live. My notifications are on. You are welcome. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I may be online tomorrow depending on how that wash day goes. So, uh, you guys take care. Hey, Remain Fearless. Welcome back to the Waxing Show. Liana, I'm actually finished, but I will leave this up. And uh, you guys take care tonight. Have a fabulous evening.